Okay. It is 6 o'clock, so in fact, it's a couple minutes after 6 o'clock, so I think we'll get this meeting started. Uh, my name is Bill Schwant. I'm the general manager of Moorhead Public Service, uh, your electric and water utility uh, in a few months. Um, the meeting here tonight is for us to uh, introduce you to more public service. Uh, not that you're not introduced to us already because you get water service, a lot of you get water service from us. Um, but for the electric service, that will take place over this summer. Um, but I'm going to uh, basically do a couple of introductions and then uh, we'll get on to talking about the electric uh, transfer of services in the North Moorhead Oakport area. And then we'll talk a little bit about our energy programs, and then we're going to open it up for questions uh, from, from you. Uh, first of all, uh, introduce myself. I've got a number of Moorhead Public Service staff people. If you guys could just wave your hands, or stand and wave your hands, whatever, and you can. So those are all the people that are going to answer your questions informally afterwards, um, if you've got some. Uh, we do have a, one commissioner here, Commissioner John Regala. Uh, and uh, so that's nice to have here. And then uh, uh, I said I'm from Moorhead Public Service, and we are taking over the service from Excel Energy. And Mark Nisbet is here. So I'm saying welcome, and he's saying thank you. Thank you. And uh, uh, we appreciate all the good work that Bill and his team have done to make this trans transition as smooth as possible for you. I'm here to see if there are any questions that we can help you as you move forward, but it's been our pleasure to serve you with electricity. We'll continue to serve you with natural gas if you're one of our customers there. So our, our uh, full wishes are that uh, the transition goes smoothly and uh, that you're happy with your new provider. And uh, Bill has been a pleasure to work with and, and we're pleased how smooth this appears to be going. So thank you, Bill. Thanks, Mark. And it has gone really well with Xcel Energy. They've been uh, very good to work with in this transition. Um, first on the agenda really is to talk about the uh, physical transfer of facilities from XL Energy to Moorhead Public Service. And to do that, we have Travis Schmidt, our electrical engineering manager at Moorhead Public Service. Good evening. Um, so we're going to talk about the transfer of service. And um, we went through this last year with Red River Valley Co-op as well. Um, so the plan um, for XL, because of the different voltage that XL Energy has for their distribution lines, we're actually going to, on a house by house or transformer by transformer basis, transfer you guys over. So it's going to take a little bit longer than, than it did with the Red River Valley customers in Oakport. So um, the plan for that is, is once we get approval from um, the XL attorneys and the more public service attorneys on the agreement for the transfer of service, we will then um, start putting door hangers out um, probably about two weeks ahead of, uh, ahead of when the transfer of service will actually happen. And then um, the XL staff and the more public service staff will be out there to get the, the conversion. They'll, you'll see an outage to shut the power off. Um, we'll convert the wire or convert over to our transformers and get the service um, set up as well too and, and put a new meter in. And then once that's done, then we'll provide you guys with another another letter, and the letters are all going to be door hanger letters, so we'll just put them right on the door hanger, and, uh, and then you'll have a letter at the end when everything's transferred over so that you can actually, you'll know that you're now a more public service electric customer. So um, questions from there on that at all? Some of us had transformers changed over because of the road work on Broadway. Yep. Is that, is that done now, or do you have to have to do work there? So the question was, um, on Broadway, there was some flood mitigation work last year, and are those transformers um, going to stay because they were changed out last year? Um, those transformers were actually installed by Moorhead Public Service last year. We worked with XL Energy very efficiently to, to convert that service and leave it ready to go for this year so we didn't have so much extra work to do. Okay, thank you. Yep. So, so part of this is, um, so last year we actually did a put about 10 miles of feeder line in. So we, one of our substations is right down here by uh, Crystal Sugar, and we brought a feeder line up that runs up Highway 75 and then um, down through 2nd Street and then down Oakport Street. So that's, that's the route of the main feed that's going to provide power to you guys. And then from there, we've got a bunch of distribution lines that go from there um, to the transformers and then to the houses. So um, 
you can see on the, the orange map here um, where that a lot of those wires are at. You, know, you can see Broadway here, it's already done. Um, we'll have some work down in these um, developments right here and then also along this area and then up on 2nd Street um, in here and then on, on 1st Avenue as well, or on 1st Street as well too. So that's, a majority of the work was done in 2016, but we still have a little bit of boring work to do. So you'll be seeing um, um, Mort Electric, um, the contractor will be up there doing the boring work for us this year. So, and you'll be getting, you'll have notifications if they were needed an easement already or anything like that. So, so, so um, Bill's question was about timing. So, uh, what are you looking for for timing? Sure, sure. So, like I said earlier, once the we get approvals from the the attorneys, which we're expecting here in the next couple of weeks, sh shortly thereafter that that's when you'll start seeing the the services converted. And we can do about 50 to 60 homes right off the bat because of what we did in in 2016. Um, the rest of them, those will kind of trickle in over the summer as we get through a development area. We'll probably transfer those over. Um, or potentially we, we might wait until all the, the boring is completed and then we'll transfer everything over. And that's something we'll coordinate with XL Energy to work, work with them on that to make sure it goes smoothly. But we should have this all done by probably the end of August, as long as everything goes smoothly. Any other questions? Yeah, I guess we could take questions on the transfer part right now, uh, or I could finish talking about energy programs, but that's pretty short. Does the conversion uh, for each home is involved in the digging? So like the question. Like they did on Street. So does the does the the conversion take any more um, boring or digging in the in the yards? Um, in the areas that we have not um, done any boring yet, yes, there will be some more boring that'll happen and some digging, um, and then everything will be restored after that too. And and if you're wondering about restoration from stuff last year, we're still working to get that stuff finalized because it went late into the fall. So is everything going to be underground? Um, everything but the services will actually be underground. So if you have an overhead service already, it'll actually stay in overhead service. And if you've already got an underground service, it'll stay underground. Um, we do have um, a program that, that Bill might want to talk, I'll talk about and then Bill can go to the other ones. Um, we do offer, if you want to underground your service, um, we do offer, we'll provide you the wire, you just have to hire the contractor to convert the service to an underground service. So we do offer you that opportunity. What about the overhead power lines we have now? Um, yes, yeah, so like I said, a majority of, of the overhead power lines will be removed once we have the, the transfer of service completed. Um, like I said, the, the services from the, the poles to the house, th those will still stay, but everything else will be removed. On the overhead services where, when he says the power lines will disappear is correct, but it'll be like the top two or three, and then where phone and cable TV is, uh, we're not quite sure what they're going to do, so the poles will be cut off, and the phone, and I don't know what cable's doing. Um, so the, the poles will remain because they will feed the overhead services that are fed overhead now. All we'll do is go from our transformer up the pole, tie in, and work it that way. So quite a few of the poles will remain. They'll just be shorter. There's a uh, series of poles along a ditch easement just south of 65th Avenue, will those, will those poles, and those are only electricity, I do believe, will those poles be gone? If they're only electricity, they'll be gone. Well, dependent upon, there again, are, if the house services are overhead to those poles. I don't, I don't even know what the heck they serve back there. Yeah. And we can talk to you afterwards. We can pull up our maps and get a better idea of what you're talking about. But there again, like I said, if if the overhead services are fed off those poles, those poles will stay. They'll just be shortened a little bit. Good questions. You can keep them coming on either the transfer or uh, really 
any of the other programs that Moore Public Service has, and really this part of the presentation is just a very brief introduction to some of the programs that we have at Moore Public Service. Basically, all the programs that are available to any customer in town are available to you, you know, once you have service. And just a few of them to think about, uh, we do offer dual fuel uh, systems, and I know in your area, the cooperative customers had a lot of dual uh, heat or dual fuel type systems, and we do offer that, so if you're interested in that, you can certainly look into that. Um, it really does have a tough time competing with natural gas, so if you have a natural gas system, I don't expect too many of you probably to be too interested in that. Um, we do have our Capture the Sun program that uh, you may have heard about and you may be interested in. It's basically where you can purchase a solar panel and, st and instead of putting it on your home, you can have it out in a field where uh, we take care of it, we maintain it, uh, and uh, it's very economical for you to do that versus putting it on your own home. So there is information over there for that. Um, we also have, no, I don't know if everybody got a light bulb, but make sure you get a light bulb. Mark, you gotta make sure, I'll, I'll you need to make sure and take a light bulb. And uh, we, we do give those out as an, and as an incentive to uh, use them for their LED lights and their uh, really nice light. And uh, we get energy savings from that. And we're required by the state of Minnesota to have a certain amount of energy savings. So that really does help us. We're not just giving those away just to give them away, although it, it is a very nice light. Um, some of the other programs that uh, we've got, we've got what we call a Thrifty Watts program. Uh, Thrifty Watts is our demand reduction program where we control people's uh, air conditioners and water heaters. So if you're interested in a monthly credit, those are available to you. And uh, we've got our rate schedules over there. And I don't know if there's any, Dennis, am I missing any of the, the majors? Uh, this is our repairing filter, so if you have appliances. Oh, sure, the Bright Energy Solutions is our, our rebate program. So yeah, if you're buying new appliances, those types of things, uh, we have rebate forms and rebates are available. And again, we're required to do a certain amount of energy savings by the state, and uh, those all count, so we give incentives for that so so that's just a few of our energy programs rebates for home insulation rebates for home insulation dennis is nodding his head no so not at this time but yeah well unless you're a gas customer then they might have some are you <laughs> mark would be happy to visit with you so yeah, if you're heating with gas, uh, that's a, there's some rebates available. Yep, good questions. Other questions? Oh. Yep. Uh, street light, so a lot of the questions we got last year were about street lights and I wanted to make sure I address it with you guys as well. So um, right now the, the city of Moorhead's got a street light utility and I'm one of the, one of the members on that committee so the plan for streetlights in the Oakport area, um, as discussed for a while, a few years back, was to not put a whole lot of streetlights out in, the, in that area. So the plan right now uh, for streetlights would be to just light up the main thoroughfares. So Oakport Street and Wall Street Avenue would be the only areas that would, we would add additional lights into the future. Now, that still depends on budgets and and timing, so it might be a few years yet before you'd see lights on those roads. Um, there's a few developments down in this area and up in this area as well too. Those street lights are still gonna stay there and they're still gonna be maintained by more public service. So, but like you said, you know, we're not gonna light up the whole area. If you guys do want additional street lights, um, there is a request um, form that you can fill out for that and then it goes to the street light committee so that we can um, review it and see if it's uh, required light and there's some other formalities you got to go through and you got to get approvals from some neighbors and stuff like that too. So, so only the ones that are kind of yellow and red. Correct, yep. So, so the ones that up on Broadway and in within the other area here that aren't yellow, those aren't going to be activated. These 
purple ones are actually already in place and they're already on. So, ones? yep, all those purple ones. Like private. Yeah, they're private. Now, those might have moved because I think this map is prior to the construction of last year. This, this year yeah. Yes, ma'am. Oh, well, what's this one way up in the top there, in the middle of that? This, this one right here? Yeah. There's no house there. I'm wondering if that's actually for the lift station there. Ah, yes. So it, it is. It's just so it's a little bit of a no, a misnomer. It's over yep. there. Yeah, there's a light. But okay. all those purple, all the lights that are in purple here are already existing. They could be street lights or they could be security lights. So if for some reason folks on Broadway. Uh, what do we do if we decide as a group of people that we need more light there? Right? So there's a request form, and I can talk to you after the, after the meeting to get a little more information. Because it's a pretty dark. Yes. Yeah. So there's a there's a request form that you can fill out that says, hey, we would like a light at this address or in this area, and then we'll take it back to the street light committee. Right, right. Did you put private? It's just when we GPSed everything, um, we had already GPSed those, so we just kept them in there. So, but we've got them, we've got them as well because we, um, the private security lights, if they're if they're provided by Morehead Public Service, then we would maintain them. If they're behind the meter or off of your electrical panel, then you would maintain them. So that if you've got a question after after the meeting, we can discuss it a little further. Questions? Well, again, this meeting is to talk about the transfer of uh, electric service from Xcel Energy to uh, more public service. And uh, John, you have a question. Well, I, more of a comment. Um, with the change over to more public service, we wanted to welcome you first off, but also you have commissioners throughout the city who represent you. And at this time, Ward 1 is represented by Ken Norman, but he will probably have a short time left here, so there would be another representative here. So if you have concerns at all regarding receiving services for Morehead Public Service, we as commissioners serve as your advocates. So you can certainly contact whoever is from your ward or any of the commissioners regarding any concerns that you may have here for us. And then you may also want to talk about the little difference of changes, if any, in the billing statement? Oh. Okay, uh, Nancy, why don't you come up and talk a little bit more about the billing. Um, Nancy Lund is the administration and finance manager and she uh, kind of runs all that billing. First, did everybody get a copy of the sample bill? Which one of the yellow highlights we might change? Uh, Nancy, probably go back. Did you get your I have one. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, um, everyone should already be um, familiar with the Moorhead Public Service Bill because we currently serve uh, water, wastewater, stormwater, garbage, sanitation, and a variety of other charges. So you're used to seeing that bill from MPS already. So the addition on that bill that you'll see will be an electric line. So it's gonna say, you know, up at the top, you're gonna see your electric usage and you're gonna see then under the charges, you're gonna see an electric charge and a sales tax charge to go with it. So it should be nothing Nothing new, um, a couple of the things we ran into last year with the, with the other conversions we did, we had questions on, well, if I'm on budget or equalized billing or anything like that, will I be able to be on it at MPS? The answer is yes, definitely. So you need to call into customer service, we'll calculate a new budget based on your existing usage with Excel, so we'll do that for you. The other piece of information that we're looking for there are, we think, approximately 30 customers out there currently heating with electricity. If you're one of those people, stop and give me your name and address today because there's some sales tax exemptions in the winter that we need to get set up too. So, so if you're on one of those 30 people, stop and let us know. If you know anybody else out there that heats with electric, um, pass that word on to them too and we want to make sure we get that set up correctly also. Uh, I didn't see any differentiation. Correct. It's it's the same same year round rate. Now, if you're one of those electric heat people, you would need to take a look at installing a dual fuel system to see savings. And so, there's information over here on dual fuel. If you'd like to convert and do that, and and we've got some rebates and things available for those type of systems. 
Um, the other thing on your bill that won't be very clear to see, you'll see the electric charge, but the question always comes up, well, how about your rates? And so there will be an, a, a, a fee above our normal rate that you'll be paying for a number of years, and it's an um, electric service territory buyout fee. Right now, we've calculated the rate at, um, let's see, I think it's 1.3 cents. So the difference between Excel's rate and Morehead Public Services electric rate is an average of 2.6 cents. You'll be paying 1.3 cents of that for a number of years until we've repaid Excel for the dollars that we are paying them to buy your service right now. So 1.3 cents higher than the MPS rate, 1.3 cents lower than the Excel rate you're paying right now. I just want to know, you said a number of years. What's a number of years? Um, I think we're talking under 20, you know, so we'll track that on an annual basis and it depends on sales. So if sales are good and sales increase or go up, that the number of years payoff will decrease. But I think we're talking in the 15 to 20 year range. So half the difference between Excel's rate on an annual basis and MPS's rate, and you'll see that surcharge added. And right now the Excel rate happens to be higher than the more public service rate, so there is a difference and then half that difference is the cert is the additional charge but if the rates do go the other way then there is no uh, additional rate so it does go away any other questions on billing as you transition we had some questions on usage and things like that um, we've got staff available to work through some of that with you sometimes what we'll ask you to do is contact excel and get your usage history you know, some, some people came in and had significantly higher usage than they expected, and we've been able to work through that with all the customers, getting your Excel information, comparing it to what we've got. So we've got staff available to help you with that transition too. Thank you, Nancy. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, other questions? We cer certainly can take all the questions that you have or get back to you and, and certainly come up afterwards and talk to us if you've got uh, more individual type questions and we'll hang around here uh, and, and be available for the energy services programs, those types of things. Um, again, I mean, we're basically here to talk about the transfer of electric service from Xcel Energy to Moorhead Public Service. Um, I'm Bill Schwant, General Manager. And I do want to welcome you. So sometime this summer, you're going to become our electric customers. And Mark, do you want to conclude? And uh, Bill, can I just interrupt for one okay. second before Mark talks yep. and ends the meeting? Um, <laughs> just so you guys know, let your neighbors know who couldn't make it to this meeting that in, within about a week, we'll have all this on our homepage. The video that MCAM is recording with all the questions, the handouts will be on there as a PDF, and then information who they can contact with questions. So that'll be at www. Dot MPS, so Moorhead Public Service, MPS Utility, U T I L I T Y dot com. And I think it might be, you might find it on the sample bill or on the back of the right brochure and on the magnet. So um, <laughs> take a look at that within about a week. Um, the video will be edited and ready for you guys. So tell them to go check that out if they have any questions. Thanks, Casey. Yeah, then I would just comment if there's any way we can help you out or uh, requesting that billing, uh, you know, package from us on the electric, we'd be happy to do that. You're still a customer of ours, and so we'll certainly visit with you. So, Thank you. Any final questions? Otherwise, we'll just kind of break up, and you can come up and ask questions if you, if you would like. So thank you all for being here tonight. <laughs>